We're filling a little bit before the live live stream. lots of opportunities for people to perform and to develop and to express themselves. I for sure wouldn't have, I'm pretty sure, I would never have dared to actually venture a career in the arts. Would it not have been for, well, all the teaching, but also just the really valuable um, experiences that I got here and from all the validation and support from both teachers and friends. So thank you very much, everyone. And um, now I'm sick. So that bugs me a bit, but I'm going to sing anyways. Um, and um, a lot of people... Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah? okay. A lot of people Should we try another mic? Is it good? Okay. Now, a lot of people that I've talked to during these days have mentioned when we've been talking about like what does it feel like being here, and um, a lot of people have said like ambivalence and that there's like this mixture of emotions that it's amazing, obviously, but also can be difficult, and um, how there's good things and bad things and light and dark at the same time. So, I'm going to sing a song that I think text-wise at least captures those kinds of feelings. It's a song by Florence and the Machine. And, yeah, let's go. Good to be back on this stage. <laughs> Fond memories, guys.
want to make sure. Can you guys hear me? So uh, we need uh, Beatrice and John next, so you should make your way up here now, please. And is it Camille or Camille? You're on deck. Half-Life, which is in the improvised people that want to improv, be on deck. And Zohar, Perla, and Joe Z, you're also someone on deck. Come on up. Get set. Yeah. Get well. Okay. Anybody has a guitar? Anyone have a guitar? Fuera la 
No creyera en lo que creo, si no creyera en algo, si no creyera en caída, si no creyera en lo que duele, si no creyera en lo que quede, si no creyera en lo que lucha, ay, qué cosa fuera. Qué cosa fuera la masa sin cantera, un amasico hecho de cuerdas y tendones, un revoltijo de carne con madera. Qué cosa fuera el corazón, qué cosa fuera, qué cosa fuera la masa sin cantera. Is a lullaby that we uh, actually sing to our son Max every every night before he goes to bed. And uh, she starts the lyrics. Uh, Max was very concerned when we uh, told him that we got to perform this tonight because he said nobody's going to understand a thing because it's in Norwegian. But I said that's okay. We'll sing it to him because he will understand it. So it is uh, it is a song about uh, Mama Troll who's putting her eleven small trolls to bed. Very hard job, yes. <laughs> you should have stopped it too. <laughs> Alright, so can you hear the guitar at all? Yeah. 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 Alright, so we'll try this.
probably. The mic doesn't work, right? Okay, I cannot see you, but I know there are a lot of you. Uh, okay, so, so the story behind this piece is, well, you all know it, and I'll tell the title in a second, but uh, it's kind of difficult to speak when those lights kind of shine. <laughs> So, uh, so I'm gonna play piano today. This is the first time I ever played piano in front of anybody. In fact, I never played piano before. <laughs> um, when, when, when I was in primary school, um, I studied keyboard for a year. and. Uh, at that time, I was too shy. We had some performances. I didn't want to perform. And I, I studied for a year. I forgot about it. Uh, and then, like, about a year ago, a friend was selling a, an old keyboard. And I'm like, I'd just like to try again some musical instrument. So I got it. And I was self-learning myself. I was, I, was, I was playing little pieces. And I kind of liked it. I thought when, when I... When I uh, when I uh, decided to come here, which was not very long time ago, I thought that maybe I'll try to play something. But at that time I thought that it would be like in the student center and there would be, you know, 20 people and people would be tired. So this is a bit unexpected. <laughs> so I, I was much more comfortable talking about AI yesterday. Um, but nevertheless, I will try. I beg for your forgiveness. Uh, it's completely amateur performance. I t wanted to do it on two hands. I didn't have enough time. It will be just one hand. So all the music professionals, please forgive me. Uh, thank you. Uh, you haven't heard that. Uh, but uh, so so when uh, when we were at the DJWC, there there have been. <coughs> WC, we, we, all, we all had a number of songs that we associated with UWC and, and uh, there were a number of songs that uh, I felt really emotional about after UWC, probably for a few years after, after UWC I couldn't really even listen to them because like they had really emotional impact on me. This is one of them, it got better, I can even now play one, kind of. <laughs> um, so, so this this song is will be Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day.
awesome. Um, so we're gonna have Half-Life, uh, these are improv folks, like a Tim, maybe a Mookie or a Mookles out there. Um, let's, let's get those guys, if they're around, to come on up. And, uh, uh, also, uh, is Jasper, if, if he's willing, maybe, and um, Jasper, you out there, maybe? Yeah, and um, also, just so you know, Zohar and Joe, you're coming up. Um, Aida Shen, you're coming up, Aura, you're coming up, and Reese. So, people feeling good? Yeah. Great. If it, if it doesn't interfere with the, um, the artistry of the everyone, um, can we have a little bit of house light so that we can interact a tiny bit, unless it interferes? That'd be great. Because with, yeah, maybe just the hair more would be awesome. Where are you guys? Come, come on out here. Yeah. And he, I was saying, I, I was very ready to do this because I hadn't been bawling for at least two hours, but thank you, Camille. Uh, that's, now the clock is reset. Awesome. <laughs> and, and is there Tim around, or possibly, not really? Anyone else who wants to do some improv, jump on up here? Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to explain this game. It's called Half-Life. Good. And uh, just, just go for it, huh? Yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna get a suggestion for these folks to do a scene. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call. Yeah, they're gonna be in this scene. And um, uh, I just wanna get my... Yeah! Okay, so we're gonna um, ask for suggestions. Let me warm you up just a tiny bit, just because we're all sitting here in the dark. Um, just scream out to me your favorite cereal, anybody. Raisin Bran, Raisin Bran I heard. Raisin Killer Crunch, what was that? Lucky Charms, nice. Give me your favorite color back there in the back. Creme Brulee, yep. Cho Count Chocula. Blue, that's kind of plain. Okay, great. I'm gonna get a suggestion now for you. I'm gonna get a location. Okay? Can we get a location, like a non geographical location? What was that? An airport. We're gonna take airport, and we're gonna have uh, Mookie and Jasper start, and Jordan is gonna join in. Is that come this way, Jordan? For me. Okay? Here we go. So uh, I'm going to start you off in three, two, one, scene. Did you pack? Samantha? It's not such a big deal. It's, it's just a flight to Phoenix. It's, it's a huge deal. It's the only flight that's going out for the next three days. Give me that. That's mine. <laughs> you want to sit on separate seats now? You know what? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe we go over to the teller and we get reassigned because I don't want to do this with you anymore. Okay. Yeah? Well, where's the guy? Hello? Is there anyone here? Yeah. There's no one here. Great. I mean, Hi. can you come off your coffee break and forget yourself? I'm sorry. I don't drink coffee, so... Uh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, we'd like two separate seats. We'd like to be reseated, yes. Do you want window or aisle? We want uh, one window, one aisle. Could I actually be you know, by the toilet? I only have middle seats, so I, I, I'm not quite sure it's going to work. But middle is fine. Middle is fine for you. Scene. Okay. All right. Like gonna, we're going to start that again. We're, we're going to play that scene again. This time, instead of in 60 seconds, we're going to do Half Life, so we're going to cut it in half. They have 30 seconds now for the same scene. 30 seconds, three, two, one, scene. Did you remember to pack scene? Samantha, it's not such a big deal, it's just a flight to Phoenix. It's not just a flight to Phoenix, they only have one every three days. Give me that, that's my bag. <laughs> so you want to sit separately now? Yes, I want to sit separately now. Well, I've always wanted to sit separately. Well, fine, let's do it that way. Okay. Where's the guy at the counter? I don't know. Hi, hi. Can you get off your coffee break, sir, please? I, I don't drink coffee. Oh, well, great. Drink coffee. <laughs> Uh, do you want window or aisle? Yeah, we do window and aisle, that's fine. Middle? Do you have middle? No, okay. I only have middle. And I want bathroom. Okay, great. Actually, just in the bathroom is great. <laughs> Scene. Okay, so 
so that was 30 seconds. Uh, let's cut that in half. 15 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, scene. Samantha, come on, it's just 50 seconds. I've seen it every three days. Oh, well, well, wait, give me that, that's my bad. We're sitting separately. Oh, really, you ordered that again? Uh, no. Bang, 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 bang. Where's you your coffee break? <laughs> just keep your eyes, it's fine. Oh, middle seat, go ahead. Scene. So uh, we're going to cut that in half. <laughs> Any math furthers out there want to help me on this one? With seven and a half seconds. Thank you very much. Everybody ready? <laughs> 